What is going on, guys? This is Brothers All Gaming with my review of Hawking in episode 10, season 2. And this episode, man, it was crazy. Because at first we have Sosuke Shadow. I, I, I realized that I butchered this guy's name way too much. So I'm just going to call him Shadow for now. Because I'm pretty sure that, that his name, a uh, Ao or Ao, whatever, whatever his name is, I'm pretty sure that never did the name that was like given to him by that woman he's working with anyway. So I'll just call him like Shadow something for, for like for now on. So of course he cut down Shinobu, and when, when he cut him down, that right there actually reveals his bead, and he has the bead of a of benevolence. And I was wondering like why would his bead be inside of him? Because we all know that. Nobody else keeps their bees inside of him. We, we always seen that their bees have been with them, so it's weird that it would be inside of his body. But later on, we learned that it was Kagetsu that, that had sealed that bead into him. So maybe Kagetsu knew about the bees, and maybe that's why he like hid it inside of a, a, a Shinobu to protect them in a sense. But when he was cut down, uh, Hazuki he has to get pretty upset, and he attacks Sosuke's shadow. And I gotta say, like, the power of a Tengu is pretty awesome. I definitely love that little wind tornado of his. But it was, like, mainly to get away. Because once once the, once he escaped from him, we actually see that he tended this Shinobu wounds, even though Sosuke Shadow said that it would be highly unlikely that he would survive. So to make sure that Shinobu would actually live for a second time, Hazuki at this time gave him, gave him half of his life. So of course Shinobu was wondering like why did he do that? Because he, he still can't blame himself for what happened to Kagetsu, which which he shouldn't do. But it's because that they're his parents and they love him. So it does make sense, but at the same time I'm wondering, is is Hadoki like really alive? I mean is is he really dead? Or maybe he's like still alive but only a little bit is left. Because at the same time, back back at uh, at Kagetsu, he wasn't dead yet. He he just didn't have a soul. But like, uh, but of course, Sosuke Shadow is not going to give up, because like now he he wants that beat, and apparently like they made some promise or some kind of deal, which uh, Hazuki is definitely not going to keep at this point. Because come on, like you attack Shinobu and you think that he's gonna like give you the beat? Are you freaking crazy? But of course, uh, but of course, Sosuke Shadow has a plan because he actually sets the um, the mountain on fire, or you know, or you know, he he likes to, he starts a fire and it just like spread like very rapidly, I should say. But at one point, when when they were going to escape, he actually appears before them, and we just see uh, the power of a Tengu once again because how's it? Because how's it? Like I said, his power of the Tengu, they're pretty awesome. I definitely, I definitely would, like, would love to see him at full strength, but of course that's impossible because half of his life is now in Shinobu. But that little combo that he did with with that tornado and the fire to make a ring of fire around uh, Sosuke's shadow, that right there was like pretty badass, and I, I like that a lot. That right there was like definitely a personal highlight to me. But of course, like someone like him, that right there is not gonna hold them for long. So so then, while while they're trying to get away, because Hazuki had been injured, like like he he was injured back back in their first little scuffle, so he had a wound to his side that was just like getting at him like a lot, and he knew that there was no way that he was gonna you know survive this. So he had I believe his name was a uh, Natsuno. He had um carry away Shinobu after he after he like told him his final words. And we just see Shinobu falling to the ground. I thought that maybe right there, he, he was gonna die, but he actually he actually managed to get back to the uh, to, to, to the to the, uh, to the mountain where uh, Kagetsu was. Oh, and I forgot this. Like during the episode, we actually see that the uh, the beads they were reacting to each other. I believe it was because like Shinobu like finally you know accepted his or something, and so like all of those beads were reacting, and and of course. No, I believe like that what it was at the end. I'm pretty sure it was, it was at the end. So let 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 me take that for for now anyway. So like back to uh, Hazuku, he he actually goes to Kagetsu, or I, I mean Hazuki. He actually goes back to Kagetsu, 
and, and, and we see them have like this touching moment even though Kagisu is dead he puts his head against his own and I, I, I'm not sure what happened like to me I'm still kind of confused because it's, 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 it's kind of like he killed his brother in a sense because we, we see that their mark on their foreheads are glowing and then we just see Kagisu's body you know turn to ash and, and he falls on the ground and sadly Sosuke Shadow he was right there and of course, you know, he attacks it one more time. And that right there is all we see of Hadaki for now. But then we we go back to Shinobu. And he like struggling to get free because he actually wants to go back to Hazaki because he, he wants to make sure that he's alive. And, and he actually wants to protect him and make sure that they can get out of here together. So of course, because of, because of him struggling, uh, Natsuna actually drops him. But you know what? It's all good. Because Shinobu's, uh, Shinobu's Tengu powers finally awaken and he grows wings. Now, I thought that maybe he'll start flying with them, but he had no idea how to use them, so he fell to the ground. But luckily, luckily, uh, Sosuke and Shino, they're already there because Shinobu, Shinobu was trying to use his new power to the power to fire, but he couldn't do it alone. But luckily, when him and Shino did it, they were able to. So once the fire was out, they actually like went back to their well, went back to his home to see if it, if uh, if Hazuki was there, but it but he wasn't sadly. And then he saw Kaz 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 mm, excuse me, I, I mean Kazuki ashes. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, he saw the ashes there, and 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 he just feels that he lost his family. But the thing is, he actually wants wants revenge for his parents because. Because he asked them that if you if you went to the capital with them, would he run into Sosuke Shadow? And of course, the, and we all know that they will because not only does his shadow want the beast as well, he also wants to get Sosuke because they have to. They, those two need, need to be complete. Otherwise, who knows who knows what will happen? And then at the end, we actually see that that Sosuke. I, I don't know what's going on with him. Like maybe it's because. Maybe it's because him and his shadow have been apart for like too long, and maybe two Sosuke's can exist in this world. So maybe like maybe the uh, the Sosuke with Shino is starting to fade because we see that he had lost his eyesight and one of his eyes. Like even if you look, even if you like look at his eyes, you can see that that uh, the uh, the light from it is gone. So I was like definitely curious about that. Like, why, why is he going? Why is he going blind in one eye? Like to me, it was so weird, and I didn't really get it. But I definitely want to know why is that. But we finally see that nun that uh, Soke Shadow is working with, because I definitely don't think that they had ever like shown her face fully. So I, I am wondering. I am wondering why now are they showing it, and I think that that woman. Is 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 the woman that that uh, cut down Shino, Sosuke, and that girl when they were kids, and you know, and destroyed their village. So I I, I, I do think that's her, but she's not awakened yet. Like maybe she's in a human-like state for now because for her to do all that, she definitely can't be human. So I, I am interested in this nun and hey, how come she wants to slow down uh, Satomi. But yeah, overall, the episode it was really good. I had liked it. I definitely want. I I, I I did want more, and I can't wait till next week because I I'm just curious about what's going on. Like, what what's going on with Sosuke? Who's that woman? And how come she wants those be? Like that right there, a question that 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 needs to be answered because I I really think that she is that woman that like basically ruined Shino life. But yeah, as always, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, you got to take it easy. I will see you all next time.